Susan Sarandon, the has been, what is she, 77, 70, whatever, has been back nine, end of the road career, decides she's going to completely destroy what's left of whatever the hell it is that she does by going out and screaming because everybody needs to know what she thinks. Well, now you Jews are going to know what Muslims feel like. Okay. Now look, let's get the obligatory crap out of the way. It's a free country. Yeah, 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 yeah. I understand this, and I understand the left is 100% against Israel. I dig this. And I understand, and, and, and there are many, many reasons for you to have a beef against some Israeli Israeli government uh, platforms and protocols and programs. Absolutely, without a doubt. No doubt about it. Of course, I understand it. That goes without saying. The problem, though, is that when you're in this world now where you see this one fall and this one fall and this one lose her position as a doctor and this one as a public defender and this one, you got to ask yourself, pick the hill I want to die on. What am I going to add to this mess? What am I? going to provide in terms of my genius. What is it? Tell me. Because most people, honestly, don't know anything about why they have to say anything. I can't figure out why. Now listen, let me explain something to you, okay? Do me a favor. You can think whatever you want. It's a free country. But be prepared to kill your career, your position, your tenured professorship, whatever the hell it is, because even though this is a First Amendment, you've got to understand that not everybody gets away with certain things, especially when you're stupid, and especially when you're Susan Sarandon, and all of a sudden you realize, who the hell am I? Because she's always had to be there. I'm going to stand up, and I'm going to speak, like that dimwit Ditz Madonna, remember that? She wanted to blow up the White House. Remember during the pussy hat? Remember that one? The pussy hat march? I still don't know what the hell that thing was. What was it? Square butt? What, what was that thing? It was a helmet. That was vulvar in its uh, construction? I don't think so. But who am I? What do I know, right? Remember Ashley Judd? Remember she got up and she talked about her menses and her menstrual thing? What the hell are these people talking about? First of all, whoever said that Susan Sarandon is somehow imbued by virtue of her status with some ability to whatever? Are you kidding me? Seriously, are you kidding me? Susan Sarandon? Now, I know this may be tough for some people to realize, but believe it or not, there are two sides Believe two, two, two perspectives that nobody dares to want to address because it's an all or nothing world. And the reason why people have a hard time with this is as F. Scott Fitzgerald said, that the sign, the sign of uh, a sophisticated, highly developed mind is the ability to handle two seemingly inconsistent theories together simultaneously. That's it. That's simple. That simple. That easy. That's all I want to tell you. That easy. Period. If you can't see anything that an Israeli citizen might think in terms of Hamas, if you can't see how a Palestinian might have a beef with certain treatment they've had to endure, and Israeli citizens who have been the subject of and the victim of rocket attacks from Hamas. If you if 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 you live in an either or world, I can't help you. But more importantly, let me put it to you this way: nobody gives a damn what you think, especially when you're Susan Sarandon. And when this one is canned, and this one's canned, and this investment banker, and this one, and this one loses her job. I, I mean, I, I don't, you would think everybody in the, in the world of representation, whether you're with 
you know, William Morris or whatever iteration it is now or United Artists or this and that. You think somebody would say, if you work for me, shut up. You, it's, it's a free country. Go in the corner. But if you expect to get a job, this isn't going to work. And, and here's the most, the, the most important part. Nobody cares. You really don't have to say something. But see, we live in a world where everybody has to say something. Everybody has to go for broke. Everybody has to put in their two cents, no matter what. Everybody has to live in a world where they, and this is important, where they must give the final verdict. It's like nobody really knows what's going on until Susan Sarandon says this. And when you speak of it in this villa, in, in, in this nasty, pointed, especially after October the 7th, what do you mean? What? There was a story about this poor, I think he was Egyptian. He's some coffee server or vendor on the street and some schmuck. Who comes along and he's he's yelling at him. He says because he's Palestinian. I mean, I, I, I don't know. I don't know what's the matter. And everybody's filming this. You're going to lose your job. You're going to lose. People don't want. I I don't get. You know what it reminds me of? I got to tell you. You ever hear these stories recently of of how teachers are having sex with students and they're going to prison? And you would think somebody would say, listen. There's open season on teachers having sex with students. Whatever you do, don't have sex with a student. Why? Because they're coming after you. They're coming after you like you can't believe. Don't have sex with students. Not a good idea, right? Doesn't that make sense? Doesn't that make sense to you? I think so. But yet it's happening all the time. I I don't get it. Why all of a sudden are people losing their shit, pardon my French, on planes? <laughs> What, what, what is this? Why? There, there have been crazy people. We used to go postal. Why are people all of a sudden finding it, despite all of the arrests and all of the, the stuff? On, I mean, there, there, there are uh, YouTube and TikTok channels and whatever devoted just to this. Why? It's as though, oddly enough, that the trouble that people find themselves in actually, actually, uh, uh, in yours to the, to, to the benefit of the process, where they are pulled into this. They are pulled into... I, I, it's, it's, it's incredible. If you're... I keep saying, I think she's like 70, whatever the hell she is. But Susan Sarandon, do you, you think she would say, I, I've got... A, maybe if I've had a good run, and, and I can... Maybe I can do something. I can, I can help. Maybe I can be a part of lending my expertise to... God bless the Palestinians. Please, please. There's nothing wrong with that. Go up and tell people you want there to be peace. Go up and understand that you're, that you're harder with the brave Palestinians. Fine. But it's when it's directed, it's like, and the Jews are going to understand now what it feels like. That's the part. See, because then you sound like a nut. And it's weird. Some people can get away with it. Some people can't. And you can't, double S, you can't, okay? So let that be a lesson to you. You had a nice run, but you had to do it because you had to finalize it. You had to take that nail, and there's that coffin of your career, so that you could. Now, and now the world is clarified. The world is clear. The world is passive. Passivity, passivity rules the, the, the era because of your perspective. Schmuck. Now comment. As you see fit.